The Oregon Workshop Grinder is an ideal accessory for any busy chain sharpening operation. With this grinder, you will achieve the results of a professional. For reasons of safety, it is important to always wear eye protection whilst operating this grinder and never use the machine without the safety guards correctly assembled. The unit may be bench or wall mounted and should be set with the location lugs on the edge of the bench. Set the grinder head at 60 degrees. Before grinding, check the shape of the grinding wheel. Do this with the plastic template and adjust the shape of the wheel with the dressing stone, both of which are supplied as standard equipment. Dress the wheel with a light sweeping action. You may use this same method to keep the wheel clean and in the correct shape in the future. To commence sharpening, place a chain in the vise. It is advisable to work with the right hand side cutters first. Set the sharpening angle at 25 degrees for chisel chains and 30 degrees for semi-chisel chains, then tighten the knob. Lower the grinder head so that the grinding wheel will come in contact with a cutter. Adjust the depth stop so that the wheel sits at the bottom of the gullet of the cutter, but does not allow contact with the other parts of the chain. The depth stop can then be locked in place with the lock nut. Adjust the length of the cutter by advancing the chain stop adjustment forward so that the cutter makes light contact with the grinding wheel. The chain stop can then be locked in place with the lock nut. Switch the unit on with the switch at the top of the motor. The electric motor operates in one direction only. This is a safety consideration and will not have any detrimental effect on the sharpening result. Lock the chain in place using the cam lock lever. A light grinding action is important. Several downward strokes on each cutter will prevent burning of the cutter. Release the cam lock lever and index the chain forward until the next cutter is positioned behind the chain stop and repeat the grinding process. After all the right hand side cutters have been sharpened, switch off the motor. Loosen the large black knob and relocate the vise to the corresponding angle on the opposite side. Commence grinding the first left hand side cutter. It is advisable to check the first cutter to ensure that the length of the cutter is the same. This may be measured with a vernier caliper or a small adjustable wrench. You may need to slightly adjust the cutter length by rotating the chain stop forward. If this is necessary, the adjustment will be minimal, around one quarter of a turn, and remember to lock the chain stop with the lock nut. Repeat the grinding process, bringing each cutter up to the chain stop. Upon completion of all left hand cutters, switch the unit off and prepare the unit for dressing the depth gauges. The grinding wheel is to be removed. The wrench is supplied for this purpose. Fit the 5 16th grinding wheel and remember to keep the safety shield in place. The 5 16th grinding wheel should be profiled so the wheel will set the depth gauge and also shape the depth gauge in a rounded profile. This will allow the chain to cut smoother. Set the grinder head at 90 degrees and tighten the locking knob. Rotate the vise to zero and re-tighten the knob below. Place the chain in the vise. For your accuracy, it is advisable to set the first depth gauge with an Oregon depth gauge tool and flat file. Position the depth gauge directly under the center of the wheel and advance the chain stop accordingly. Now adjust the depth stop on the top of the grinder to the height of the depth gauge that has been filed with the flat file and tighten the locking knob. Commence grinding the depth gauges. Remember, a light grinding action is advisable. Work your way around the chain, grinding both left and right hand depth gauges. Your chain should now be ready to go to work. Safe cutting.
For more information on any Oregon products, contact your nearest Oregon distributor on these numbers or visit www.oregonchain.com.au.